Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Saturday. Hope your day is going well. Don't know if you watched the Xfinity race last night, but boy, what a finish. It took a while to get there. I think they had 16 cautions throughout the race. It was, uh, it, you know, had a, uh, not a red flag to start. They just didn't get started on time because of the rain. Then they had a red flag near the end because of a crash. Uh, controversy at the finish. Be interesting to see what happens in terms of fines or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to throw any spoilers out there in case someone has not watched the race yet. But uh, we're going to jump into the, the video real quick. A uh, few more items. Uh, this, I'm going to be doing the flea market stuff from this past weekend. I've probably got five more videos that will just be flea market finds on their own. Uh, but a few items that I did pick up. I got a red Max 5th Anniversary set. I got the black set I believe I bought. Maybe it was the 91 set I got off of Danny. But anyways, a red set of the 92 black, red Max update. I've got a black Max update set somewhere. And I picked up another set of these Skybox uh, from 1994. Pretty cool set of cards. I think we've reviewed those before on the channel. If not, I probably should. And then this, even though the condition is not the greatest, because I can tell it's been sitting out, like in a display that maybe got a little bit of sun, but it's one of the McFarlane action figures of Neil Bonnet. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. The five is when he was racing for Jim Stacy, a.k.a. J.D. Stacy. And that was the team that Jim Stacy bought off of Nord Crosskopf, which was the K&K &K insurance car back in the 70s. So Neil ran that car in about 1978. The five car <clears throat> got his first career win. Can't remember if it was at Nashville, but he did get his first career win in that car. So I'd never seen the Neil Bonnet McFarlane figure and I only paid three dollars for it. So I was really excited about that. Um. Next big item here. I want to thank my wife for these next four items. And I'm going to just show them to you, but I'm not going to leave them on the screen just because I don't have enough room to. But the next line of Funko Pops, we're going to start with Bubba Wallace, uh, driver of the 23XL car. Then we have Chase Elliott with uh, his little goggles going on there and the Hooters outfit. I still think it's funny that Hooters is a sponsor of Chase and Bill lost the championship to the Hooters car. Of course, Kyle Larson, he was part of this release, the HendrickCars.com. And we, my wife said he looks a lot like Jimmy Johnson in this with that beard. And I know they were just trying to make it look like a 5 o'clock shadow and just kind of had it grayed up. But it looks like Jimmy Johnson's naturally gray beard. And then the uh, final one of the bunch is the Dale Earnhardt circa 1979-1980. Uh, his pre-Wrangler days when he was driving for Rod Ostrel. And I do like that little patch here. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. But the replica Winston Cup Series patch. Very, very cool. So I want to thank my wife very much for that. I love you. I always enjoy the gifts that you give me. That's something we do. We buy each other stuff all the time. So uh, that was the next four Funkos in the NASCAR series. So those will go on the rack that is above and behind everything that you see here. But I think what I want to open today is the uh, 2021 football. The Mosaic picked this up about a week ago at Meyer. I think I told you guys the story that I walked into Meyer. They had like 30 of these boxes and then two full boxes of cello packs. I'm just sitting there looking at it, and some dude comes up and just clears the shelf, um, and then immediately proclaims, oh, I'm not a flipper, me and my buddy, uh, we open these, and then we sell the hits out of it, so, well, whatever, you know, like I said, you either are or you aren't, and, you know, so it doesn't matter if you tell me straight up, I don't care. But anyway, let's take a look at the box. You see Russell Wilson of the Seahawks there on the cover. 20 cards in this. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get. One silver or mosaic parallel per box on average. So no guaranteed hits. Four hanger box exclusive mosaic orange reactive parallels per box on average. So it's pretty nice. And then there is all the... And it's uh, not really giving us 
two. Well, I guess it does give us a little print run. So very nice there. So not sure how these are going to be packaged up. And that's kind of how I thought they were going to be packaged up. So we'll just take this out. Again, I've not opened any of these. So I'm kind of excited to see what we get. This kind of reminds me of the, not the Select, but the Absolute NASCAR Racing that just comes in a clear solo pack. So we're going to start off with Barry Sanders. I know he's in the Hall of Fame with the Lions. Very nice looking card there. Let's look at the backs of these, see what we have on the back. So just kind of a career stat line, I'm sure, for the Legends. Just a little paragraph there. So we'll move on to... Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills. Andre Johnson. And I'm trying to hold these in such a way. Joe Burrow. Of course, he made it to the Super Bowl, but did not win. Still a nice looking card. Michael Strahan. Henry Ruggs III. Of course, I don't think that's a desirable card anymore. Big Ben, of course, he is now retired, I guess. Who do we have here? We have a nice card of Robbie Anderson, Carolina Panthers. Got game, Raquan Smith of the Bears. Just looking and seeing the number on the back of that. Seeing if it was an insert. Touchdown mas Masters. Devonte Adam, Adams. These must be the orange ones. Oh wow, that is super nice. Joe Montana. I'm gonna have to sleeve that one up really, really quickly. But that orange goes good with that 49ers get up. But that's one of those orange parallels. Derek Brooks, man of the year. Josh Jacobs. And then our last one is Aziz Ojolari, a rookie card. I'm sure I butchered that name, but it's a nice looking card. Alvin Kamara. Base card there. Aaron Jones. Tom Brady, the retired, unretired, re retired, unre retired Tom Brady. Nice Trey Lance rookie card. We'll take that one. We'll get that one sleeved up, of course. Evan McPherson. And our final card of the day is Dwayne Eskridge. So I'm very happy with this uh, box. No hits. I didn't see any numbered cards in this. But still, those are really nice cards. Um, um, you know, I kind of understand why people are going a little crazy over them. But uh, I'm going to get that Montana for sure sleeved up. Maybe that uh, rookie who was at Trey, uh, I just forgot the name, guys. Sorry, Trey Lance. There. So the inserts look nice. The only thing I don't like about cards like that is they are so prone to fingerprints. So that's just part of it. So many cards now, especially like the prisms and so forth. They are uh, just so subject to getting the fingerprints. So anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, we'll have more to open tomorrow. Not sure. I'll just kind of fly by and see my pants when I do this. Because that's just how we do it on the channel here. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Uh, no racing at the Speed Drum today. Uh, my wife does not race this weekend. So there will be some activity tomorrow. Uh, they're just holding off because of the weather. Uh, but it will be the debut of the Mini Figure 8 class, the Mini Outlaw Figure 8. So looking forward to that. So thanks again for watching. I know I've said that before, but uh, thanks again. Enjoy your Saturday, and we'll see you tomorrow.